So welcome back guys to my channel, so let me just give you a small tutorial on how to download the best Red Dead Redemption trainer or mod application you can find online. This is an absolute beast, it's called Red Dead Redemption 2 trainer and of course I shall leave the links in the description below for you to download this amazing mod. The mod is part of two parts of course, we're gonna show you the uh, actual way to install it soon but first just a quick flavor of what this mod can do. As you see here I already spawned like a giant human basically and uh, you just have to press F5 and then you have the menu. In this menu you have animations so you can make your character uh, for example play yeah, custom man. animation or animation player or Anyway, use nearby scenario, say a stop animation. There's a lot of animations you can use uh, for anything you want. Literally, look at that. So you can make your character do whatever the heck you want. <laughs> it's brilliant. All right, next thing is basically all the options. So of course, you can play ambient music, ambient speech, every type of sound you want. Then you have bodyguards. You can spawn basically bodyguards in the game however you want. And of course it can be absolutely anything as you can see here. It could be literally any type of bodyguard. And then you can just basically see here it just, it just spawns them just like that. Next we have uh, of course these, uh, what you call it? camera options so we have here free camera for example and you just can fly and you do whatever the heck you want look at that that is just brilliant you can go under the game of course at the top so this is amazing for actually taking like the perfect picture the perfect like image you want of course just look at that you can just do whatever the heck you want man that's just brilliant look at that that's just you like can see Arthur Morgan with his beard look at that look at that look at that, look at that. it's just it's just amazing the amount of Detail. I mean, his beard is so big, I can't even see his face. Oh, there you go. There you go. See that? So it's just brilliant. Now, okay, moving on. Then we have player options. So player options is a quite interesting one because you can, of course, put invincibility on your character. You can put infinite dice, infinite stamina, never wanted. You can fill your player cores, of course. Uh, give money. All these things, of course, which are just basic, like, cheats in the game, really. There's no such thing as it. They're not every very special. But, of course, you can increase your scale. So, you can see here, you can go a lot, as you can see here. Uh, let me just put that camera away. Uh, the here goes a bit glitchy, but as you can see here, it's just ridiculous how, how tall you can become. I think the highest you can go is potentially around... Alright, so yeah, five, you can even go five as you can see here, massive giant, that's just ridiculous. And of course you can reset your scale and that's fine. Next we have uh, everyone ignores the player, super jump, this is a really nice one, super run, of course, kill player, drunk, you can be drunk basically as you can see there. Uh, you can disable your ragdoll, so just completely straight, there's no more ragdoll effect. And then we have weapons option, of course, you can have a ton of interesting weapons, of course, you have here explosive, one hit kills, teleport, gravity guns, look at this one, this one is amazing, gravity gun, let me just give you an example of what you can do with this weapon, so you shoot someone, and look at that. So you can just grab them and then you can literally just boom, it's just beautiful, just like, the game has so many funny things. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's get this guy for example. So we, we get we get this guy. There you go, and bang! Yeah, this is just nice. Look at that, look at that. And then just fly them away. As you can see the game has a lot of funny things. Yeah again, and also you can get the horse, you can get the horses and just fly the horses, of course. And it just it's just ridiculous. Alright, what else we have guys? So we have an instant dismember gun, this one is also quite nice. So this one why does it just dismember the enemy's heads and bodies completely. Look at that. So just instant dismemberment as you can see here. Uh, it's just the head, I don't think it's any part of the body, I think, yeah, it's purely the head, nonetheless, quite funny. And then we have Shrink Gun, this is also quite a fun one, uh, the Shrink Gun is just less, obviously as the name says, makes the enemies small. So look at that. So, is it, is it going to work? I think it was it's supposed to work. Uh, we have the Shrink Gun, oh, sorry, no, okay, there we go. Alright, so uh, for some reason shrink gun doesn't seem to work. Oh well. Uh, delete gun, soul, soul sealer gun, don't know what this one's gonna you make. Let's see this have a look on this one. So this one doesn't... Oh, okay, also oh, you change souls. 
So you swap souls. Alright, interesting. Now, that is a fun one. So basically you swap souls with character. And yeah, you can just keep, keep swapping non-stop. It's just amazing. Alright, there you go. So yeah, this is a quite a fun one. And then in the end we have explosive ammo, of course. As you can imagine, explosive ammo uh, is going to be something like a very powerful. Let me just give an example. Boom. Oh, Alright, we have still the soul. You put that thing you need down. to change that Nobody back again, that so so that one off, and explosive ammo is on. I don't think you have multiple ammo at the put same time. Down, so no, you can't, you can't, oh, you can't shoot that one. So there you go, so that's an explosive ammo, and because you're a man of the law, they don't even care. Look at that. Look at that. Because you're a man of the law, these guys don't give a shit about you because, of course, you are a soldier. And a soldier who is part of the NPC games doesn't get attacked by the other players. Which is quite funny, to be honest. For example, this with this one. Look at that. Boom! Explosion. That is just beautiful. Alright, so just before we finish, let's just look at our bits and bobs. So this is fine. Okay, let's go backwards. We have teleport options, world and game options. So here you can put the weather options. For example, I can make uh, overcast or... Uh, it's a thunderstorm for example as you can see there or even hurricane which is quite fun actually or we can make uh, I don't know we can make showers hail fleet a lot of things like snow blizzard ground blizzard white sandstorm for example whiteout for example uh, sandstorm so basically as you can see here you can make this game your own private sandbox all right, so let me just show you guys how to install this mod because it's absolutely super, super easy. Let's go through it. All right, guys, so here is the tutorial on how to do this amazing mod. So first of all, you have your two mods here in the folder. You first have to go to your Steam folder and then go to Steam Apps, as you can see here. Then you go to Common and then you have your Red Dead Redemption 2 folder. You press enter and then just in the root folder, you don't, you don't need to create any special folder or anything. First, you have to extract your script hook RDR2. So basically you go here, obviously extract files, extract everything here. I have everything in the folder, so I'm not gonna move them again. But if you go to the bin folder, all the stuff which is in the bin folder, literally drag it here, but you do not need to drag this one. Native trainer.asi is not required. So you just need this one and this one. Script hope DLL and then put 8 DLL. That is it. Right, so we drag these two here. Like I said before, I already have this, so I'm doing it to do it anymore. And then you're going to go to the uh, uh, next one, which is this one. So we don't need these anymore, so just get rid of them. Alright, so we have this one here. So this one here, again, just extract everything in a special folder. And you have to copy all of these things. So all of these things, all three of them, uh, you don't need a readme file because readme is just basically a file which just says basically this is the mod and enjoy. And of course, this is the link where you can download the mod, which is going to be in the description. Okay, so you have to copy this one, this one, and this one. These three files. You just move them in the folder here again, in the root folder. Once you have that, it's as simple as starting the game. And that is pretty much it. That is, literally, you press F5 and you can use backspace to basically go back in the menu. And uh, you can have use the arrow keys to select the options you want and everything. Of course, before you use the mod, make sure you have a saved game, which is just vanilla. Just in case you screw something up, you can always go back to that saved game before you actually activate any mods. And of course, it is highly recommended that your auto save function is completely switched off. That's really important. The reason why is that is very simple because if you have your auto save option on, sometimes that will be in conflict with the mod because is going to try to save stuff and of course the game won't understand what the heck you are doing to itself and it could cause some issues nonetheless guys this is the best mod ever because it has a lot of amazing things i'm going to obviously make some videos still experimenting with these mods and there's just a bunch of stuff to do now remember this is experimental and this mod will evolve with time and of course the game could potentially crash at some points Nonetheless, don't be worried about it because I had some crashes and it was no problem. I just reset the game and that is it. My computer didn't crash. I didn't have any sort of serious issues in my game. At least myself, I didn't felt that there was an actual issue or I would suffer from it or it would literally affect my gameplay. So it was really good and quite uh, satisfying to be honest. That's it guys for me, of course. See you guys in my next videos. Bye.